last. I, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for one more speaker, but I'll yield myself uh, sh such time as they may consume at this point, uh, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen's recognized. Thank you. I keep hearing that Republicans want to uh, lower energy costs with this bill and how important it is to export uh, natural gas overseas, but I want to take a, a moment to examine some history here. Back in 2015, with a Republican-controlled House and a Republican-controlled Senate, Congress passed a bill that repealed the crude oil export ban. Since then, crude oil and petroleum product exports to China have tripled, and the amount of refining capacity on the east coast of the United States has decreased by 36%. And this is not a coincidence. Lifting the export ban meant that oil producers saw more profits in sending their oil overseas, including to China, and little in refining it here at home. And that led to 10 refineries closing in the intervening seven years, destroying jobs. It tied the price of oil in the U.S. firmly to the price of oil on global markets, which has been responsible for the gas prices roller coaster we've seen for the past few years. Now, what that bill did was enrich a very small amount of people who export oil at the expense of every other American who now has to pay a little bit more for gasoline. And now Republicans with this bill want to turn around and do this for the natural gas industry, too. This bill makes it far too easy to export LNG abroad, yes, including to China, and this would mean the same process would repeat. You would pay more for energy, American factories and industries would pay more for energy, and a very small sliver of natural gas businesses would profit. It's prioritizing the enrichment of the few over the needs of many Americans. The sheer goal of calling this the Lower Energy Cost Act, in my opinion, is insulting. It's insulting to refinery workers who lost their jobs. It's insulting to the frontline communities next to fossil fuel plants that suffer from dirtier air. And it's insulting to the hundreds of millions of Americans who would have to pay more to keep their houses warm each winter. And I reserve uh, at this time.